Dialogic education is an important and interesting concept of education. What is dialogic education? Why do we need to have dialogic education? And what is the general process of dialogic education? These are the questions that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. First, uh, let us begin with a definition of a dialogue. A dialogue is basically a communication, primarily through the use of language. And this is generally between two or more people. Dialogic education is actually the use of the medium of dialogue, uh, primarily the medium of dialogue or verbal communication in order to exchange ideas during the, the, the teaching learning process. So generally a dialogue or dialogic education is a more democratic participatory approach to the process of education. Now, the main idea of dialogic education in contrast to education uh, the traditional concept of education is that the dialogic education is based on the idea of the co-construction of knowledge uh, in contrast to the imparting of knowledge or the giving of knowledge to the students. Um, the dialogic education, um, although has got current impetus, it's uh, it's not an entirely new concept because the concept has been traced back to the ancient religious philosophical uh, traditions um, in, uh, in religions such as Buddhism, um, in Indian uh, history, uh, Islamic religion, Confucian, and in Greek philosophies. Um, and the idea in most of these religions and philosophies is that learning takes place through conversation, through dialogue, and through questioning. Um, an important example of the background of dialogic education is in the Socratic philosophy of education, which is based on Socratic dialogues which primarily took place in the form of questioning uh, or a series of questions uh, between the teacher and the students that were aimed at the discovery of knowledge. The important modern contributors in the, in the field of dialogic education include Martin Buber, Mikhail Bakhtin, uh, Lee Vygotsky, and Paulo Freire. Now, um, dialogic education, how or what is the process of dialogic education? So again, the dialogic education basically is based on the idea of participation. Participation um, both on the part of the student and the teacher in the process of education. So generally in traditional education, it is the teacher around which, around whom the process of education revolves. But the dialogic education is based on the philosophy of equal participation between the student and the teacher. And so this results in more interaction. Um, between the student and the teacher in terms of the discussion of around the concepts of knowledge. And so we can say that the, this interaction between the student and the teacher is more in circular rather than linear way. And so there is, there is a circular communication of ideas and counter ideas. Um, and so the flow of information uh, between the teacher and the taught is in a circular way. Then uh, the other important strategy for the dialogic education is questioning. So 
the, the questioning is not just on the part of the teacher, um, but also the student. So the, the questioning in the form of, of arguments and counter arguments takes place and the process of discovery or exploration of ideas and concepts happens through both the questions on the part of the students and on the part of the teachers. And so the questioning is a continuous process in the dialogic education. Then the other important thing um, that we need to have in order to have in place the dialogic education is to have democratic spaces. And that actually means that we need to have the non-traditional classroom structure. So generally we see that in the traditional classroom structures, the teacher is, is at the center of the educational process or the instructional process inside the classroom. But, in the, but the classrooms that are aimed at dialogic education, uh, we need to have non-traditional classroom structure. So maybe we, we, we need to have classroom structures uh, which encourage more equal participation uh, and where the locus of control is not just the teacher, but it, the, the students are also um, equal participants in that kind of classroom structure. So, for example, we can, uh, one example could be arranging of the classroom seating in a circular way rather than in the traditional way. Then, the co-construction of knowledge rather than the imparting of knowledge. So, the dialogic education, educational process um, happens through the co-construction of the of, of knowledge rather than the the traditional one where it is imparting of knowledge on the part of the teacher or on the part of the curriculum developers in the form of textbooks and so on uh, then the relationship between the student and the or the teacher and the taught is not a top down one but a parallel one where again both the students and the teachers uh, have equal share and participation in the process of, of the in the process of education then flexibility of the educational process uh, because the dialogic education does not re revolve around certain fixed curriculum material fixed evaluation methods and fixed, uh, especially teacher-centered delivery systems. So as a result, this type of education system is in need of flexibility of the educational process. And so there will be flexibility in terms of the content, the curricular content. There will be flexibility in terms of the delivery of that content. And also in terms of the aims, so generally, uh, there, 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 there will be certain aims, important aims, but those aims will be flexible in terms of the kind of response that, that, uh, that we can have from the students or the, the variety of students inside the classrooms or inside the schools. So uh, to summarize, we can say that dialogic education in contrast to the traditional education system takes place in, a, in an entirely different way. And so there is more participation, equal participation on the part of the student and teacher. There is more interaction and the interaction is circular rather than linear. The, the questioning is not from one side, it's, it's a, uh, it's it, it is based on a more participatory type of questioning or discovery arguments and counter arguments both on the part of the teacher and the taught. Then we need to have more democratic spaces um, inside the classrooms and inside the educational institutions. Uh, the idea is based on the co-construction of knowledge rather than the imparting of pre-planned curricula. 
The relationship between students and the, the teachers is a parallel one. And this type of education needs flexibility in terms of the contents, the delivery, and the aims of education. Now, why is it that we need to have dialogic education? Or what outcomes do we get as a result of the dialogic education? So the dialogic education is a very useful form of education mainly because it has benefits for students and for teachers and for educational institutions and for the society as a whole. Um, so, for example, in dialogic educational atmospheres, uh, students may develop their critical thinking better than they can have in the traditional education system. As a result, uh, this might also develop more creativity among the students. Uh, students can become more independent in terms of thinking and asking questions and ultimately in terms of, of learning. Um, again, because students are, uh, have the opportunities to take more uh, in uh, more participatory approaches towards their studies so they can build their confidence. Um, there is better academic engagement and better achievement that recent research has shown um, that comes as a result of dialogic education. Then um, students can develop more democratic attitudes and actions and dialogic education also um, leads to more interest and involvement of, on the part of the students. Um, on the part of the teacher, uh, this type of education has, again, certain uses. Um, and so through dialogic education, students can have, can have better, uh, teachers can, ha can have better knowledge into their teaching and its outcomes because the teachers are continuously in dialogue with the students um, they, they, have, they need to continuously communicate in this type of education so they can have better understanding of the ways of their teaching and the whys of their teaching and what do they, they get out of their teaching. Um, they also can have better understanding through dialogic education regarding the student's knowledge. So what are students learning? What are they learning and how are they learning? These are the things that they can continuously uh, get awareness uh, about. Similarly, they can have um, knowledge about the students' aptitudes and personalities and achievement on a continuous basis through the concept of dialogic education because ultimately they are interacting uh, more frequently and on a regular basis with their students. And then educational institutions, uh, as a result of the concept of dialogic education, educational institutions can become more places where, where the environments are more inclusive, uh, both for the teachers and for the students. And so they can become more lively and interesting learning spaces. Um, instead of just the classrooms being silent, considered as silent zones where students are listening and teachers are talking and students are listening or writing. Um, so the dialogic environment leads to um, an environment that is more lively and interesting. Then um, this also leads to more formative assessments or continuous assessments of the teaching learning process inside the classrooms. Again, um, this is an important and a, a very useful concept of education because it leads to more democratic approaches to the educational process inside the schools. And so we can say that the educational institutions uh, become more democratic based on more democratic environments and values and more participatory approaches to the process of education. So these are some of the main whys or some of the main 
reasons because of which we need to have a more dialogic approach towards education. Now, dialogic education is not without its problems as well. Keeping in view the competitive environment, the top-down, the current top-down structures, um, it, it will not be an easy thing to implement the concept of dialogic education in, in, in our educational institutions. Uh, but keeping in view the benefits of the dialogic education, uh, we, need to have, uh, we need to have structures or at least parts of the structures that can encourage di dialogic education so that we can have a more lively, more interesting, more engaging, um, and more creative learning spaces uh, <clears throat> in our educational institutions.